A lot of our sisters blind in here, change their hair color, change their hair texture. A lot of our brothers change their hair color and hair texture. Sag their pants because they don't know that Jesus Christ looks just like them. Yes. So that's what we're going over. We're going over black history or Israelite history. You know what? Let's stop saying black history and let's say Israelite history. Right. You should claim your heritage back. Right. Okay, because we lost our heritage. Let's go back to, uh, Je go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. Then we'll go back to Deuteronomy 28 for them. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Because what would you say the so-called black man history is now? What would you say? What is our history? What's our custom? You don't know? That's a good question. What do you say, bro? Brother right here. We're strong in your mind. What you say the black man's customs or heritage is? What the heritage is? Yes, what's our heritage? Uh, I say 48 acres and a mule. You said 48 mule, acres and a mule? Yeah. Do we have that? Hmm? Do we have that? No. Nope. We don't have it. So they ain't part of our heritage right now. Right? Yo! Watch this, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Go! Right. Oh, and thou, even thyself, uh -huh. shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So this is Jeremiah speaking to the children of Israel. He said, you are going to discontinue, meaning stop, from your heritage, okay? Now, what is our heritage that we discontinue from? Do anybody know? I think that's Sirach 17, 13. What's our heritage, sis? Slavery, okay, that's part of our history. Now, what's our, like, customs? What are we supposed to do? You know what? We said what? We're Christians. We're Christians? Okay. As Christians, what are we supposed to do as Christians? Help me out. Oh, I stick. You don't know? Guess what? We're going to give it to you. First, we're going to show you what your heritage is. We're going to prove that y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's your true nationality. That's we're going to get right. into your heritage. All right? Read that. Surah, chapter 17. Verse 11. Yeah. Yeah. This is our heritage as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? Go ahead. Yeah. Beside this, uh -huh. he gave them knowledge mm -hmm. and the law. And the what? And the law. The laws of God. Read. Of life for inheritance. So what's our heritage? Right here, bro. What's our heritage? Uh, no, no. Read uh, it again. Besides this, That's good. That's good. he gave them knowledge and the law. Of life uh -huh. for inheritance. So the laws of God, the laws of life, are our heritage. Right. Now, I know you're probably just now hearing this for the first time, but we're going to go into details in a second, all right? First, I want to prove that God gave his laws to the children of Israel, right? And we're going to show who those children of Israel are. Deuteronomy 28. Let's get that. Deuteronomy chapter 28. What's your name, brother? David. David. My name is Ya'anai, okay? What we're going over is black history, but let me see if y'all paying attention. Instead of saying black history, what is it? Israelite history, okay? That's right. Let's read That's this. Right. Deuteronomy 15. chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass Go ahead. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So Moses told the children of Israel in the wilderness, because I know y'all know that story, right? We pay us call us that, right? So Moses said, if y'all do not listen to God's law, statutes, and commandments, what's going to happen? That all these curses, these what? These curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's curses a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? You agree? Curses a bad thing, right? It's a bad thing. Read on. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So cursed are the children of Israel going to be at in the city. Now we're in the city of Columbia, right? How, how can you identify a people that's cursed in the city? Okay. Of course we're not following the laws, but struggles, struggles, right? You heard what he said? Struggles, right? So black people, we're struggling in the city, right? Look at look at our living conditions, right? We live in the ghettos, the slums, our houses got mold in them, you got holes in the houses, gas leaks, gas leaks like over there in uh Allen Benedict courts. That's that's that, yeah, that's actually judgment from God because we did not listen to his commandments. Bring it up. You understand? Because we was out there teaching, showing our people, hey, y'all the Israelites, we have to keep the laws. But guess what happened? You got a question, brother? Yeah. 
Uh, come on down here. Come on down here. Go ahead and ask your question. So, exactly. We got rodent infestation. All that is a curse in the city, right? We getting shot down in the streets by the police. All that is a curse upon our people. Read the next part. And cursed shall there be in the field. Now, older people, how were we cursed in the field as a nation of people? Slavery, right? In the slave fields, picking cotton, tobacco. So even today, I'm I'm 24, right? I even, even myself, I understand that this curse is really real. Bring it I up. even pick not cotton and tobacco, but like watermelon, cabbage. squash, cabbage, all that, right? You know, my first job working for uh, Esau, according to the Bible. That's who the Caucasians are, according to the Bible. All right? Read on. Curse shall be thy basket. Matter of fact, jump to verse 68, and then we're going to answer your question. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it What is your question? What is your question? Oh, it was just like, if we were Israelites, uh-huh. stop this. All, well, all Israelites are not dark. Okay, go ahead. My bad, sir. Caucasians. What is their race? What is their race? Ah, we're going to get there. We're going to get to uh, verse 68. Verse 68. Verse 68. Verse 68. Verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships So God says he's going to bring the Israelites back into Egypt Egypt means slavery or bondage according to Exodus 22 alright You got that? Exodus chapter 20 verse 2 Read I am the Lord thy God uh -huh. which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. God brought us out of the land of Egypt. He's going to say the same thing, but he's going to replace Egypt with something. Go ahead. Out of the house of bondage. So what does Egypt mean? Bondage, slavery. Go back to verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God is going to bring the children of Israel into slavery again on ships this time. Who the That's hell is right. What was slavery now hold on, hold on now. We're gonna ask your first question. Who is Great Esau, right? Grandma. Oh, this is one thing at a time. So if God says the Israelites are gonna go into slavery on slave ships, and in history, that would happen to our people, right? Yeah. So what is our nationality according to the Bible? Who are we according to the Bible? The Israelites. It's that plain and simple, all right? Finish it out. By the way, where I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. We're not gonna see our homeland, Jerusalem, no more again. Go ahead. And there, and there, once you get off the slave ships, what happened to us? You shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be what? Sold unto your enemies. This only happened to our people. We were Word. sold unto our enemies. So this proves that we are the children of Israel according to the Bible. That's right. Word. Now, us as the children of Israel, the same enemies that sold us was Esau. Now let's go to who Esau is. Yeah, Genesis 25. No, Genesis chapter 25. Verse 23. Bring it up. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Uh, so this is Isaac and Rebekah having children, okay? God said two nations are in Rebekah's womb, right? It's two different type of people. Go ahead. And two men of people shall be separated from thy bow. So God is telling Rebekah, two men of people are going to be separated. Two different type of people are going to be separated from their bowels. Go ahead. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. So one people, one nation is going to be stronger than the other nation of people, right? Go ahead. And the elder shall serve the younger. So the oldest child that come out of Rebecca's womb is going to have to be a servant to the younger child. Go ahead. And when our, good, so we're going to our history, okay? Go ahead. And when our days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. Uh -huh. Verse 25. And the first came out red. So the first child, this first nation of people came out what? Red. Uh -huh. All over. Like in hairy garment. What nation of people is red all over and hairy? You say Indians. Indians not red. They're not red. They're, they're darker. They are brown color. Okay. Read on. Hold on. So what nation of people is red? What what we call uh, uh Caucasians in the South? Red next, right? And when they're in the sun, what happens when they get a tan? They turn red, right? Now I'm gonna show you something on that. But uh yeah. Yeah, when they get angry. When they get sad, all they turn red, they turn red. Because the blood show forth through their skin. Okay? They don't have they, they don't have any melanin in their skin like we do, okay? Now go to Malachi chapter one. So Esau, matter of fact, no, keep reading on that. I'm sorry. 
Genesis 25, I think verse 30, 30, says it's changed his name to Eden. So who is Esau, according to the Bible? Red man, right? Which is, or the so-called white man, right? He's Esau, according to the Bible. Go ahead. Verse 30. Right, verse 30. Verse 30. Yep. And Esau said to Jacob, uh -huh. feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, uh -huh. for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. So this is when Esau came out the field from hunting and everything. He came to Jacob, his brother, which is a black man. And he said, hey, feed me, Jacob. I'm tired. I need something to eat. Jacob's like, I ain't finished, finished making the food, right? So it's raw right now. So Esau said, I don't care. Just give me the food. I'm hungry. I'm about to die. Red. So he gave him the food. And therefore, his name was called Edom, meaning red. Okay? Now, Malachi chapter 1. Chapter 1. Bring it up. Oh, Ob no matter Obadiah. Obadiah. That's what I want. That's what I want. Obadiah verse one. Bring it up. Obadiah verse one. But now we know a little bit about American history, right? Yeah. Alright, good, 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 good. Read that. Obadiah verse one. Bring it out. Now hey, let, let, I'll say Abner. William. William. Wait, ain't you want your question answered? Ain't you want your question answered? Come on, listen now. Listen. Alright. We're going to who Esau is, alright? Now, first, let's finish off who Esau is, right? So, what white man is, right? Go ahead. Obadiah, verse 1. Mm -hmm. The vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning who? Concerning Edom. Which is the so called re the red race, right? So called no. red man, right? Now, jump down to verse. Ten. No, not verse 10. Yet. Four, four. Verse 4. Matter of fact, three, three, I'm sorry. Verse 3. Uh huh. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. So, God says, the pride of your heart, Esau, or Edom, hath deceived you. Bring it out. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Where the nation of people live at? Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Now, what people we know in, in, in history that live in caves and stuff like that. Get out. Cave, uh, cavemen, uh, right? Uh, right? So, these are, the, I forgot the other word that they use. But these these are the cavemen. We said Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia, right? These that's why they got the name Caucasian, because they dwelt in the caves, right? Go ahead. Whose habitation is hot, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Who shall bring me down to the ground? In order to say that, what do you have to have in order to tell all nations who gonna take me down? Bring it up. What you have to have? You have to have power. That's right. Military yeah, that's, right. That's, that's what the so-called right. white man have. Bring it out. Genesis 27, it tell you that that's his blessing that he would have. He would have power. Military might. Okay, go ahead. Don't thou exalt thyself as the ego. Hold on one minute. Don't thou what? Don't thou exalt thyself as the ego. What is the so-called, the Europeans, what is their symbol? Bring it out. The eagle. Bring the bald eagle. A bird of prey. Look, this is who God's saying Edom is, Esau is, the so-called white man. That's right. All right, right look on your dollar bill. It got the eagle on it. Right? Read it. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. How, how do you get up there to the stars? What does that mean? Who can tell me what that means? Though thou set thy nest among the stars. Y'all know what that means? In, in order to get up to space in the stars, what you got to get? What you got to have? William, William, help me out, sir. This is your question, William. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm I know, I got you. But I want you, I want you to get your question answered. Yes, sir. In order for a people to get up to the stars, the sun, moon, stars, and all like that, what do you have to have? What mode of transportation? None. If you have to go in the spirit. Like they call us Come on, William. Come on now. Well, we're talking about who the so-called white man is, right? So the white man in the spirit went up to the moon? What did he took to go to the moon? So the white man never been to the moon. No, I say that. I wasn't speaking of being able to go. To the moon? You ever heard of space travel? Spaceship? I have, young man. I have heard of that. You have heard of that? Yes, sir. That's how he got up there to the moon. Read that part again. Go thou what? Yeah, yeah, I heard of that. And go thou set thy nest among the stars. Don't you set your nest among the stars? What did they do when they got on the star? What did they say? The eagle has what? Landed. That's and when they put the, the American flag on the moon, that's when right. they set their nest among the stars. That's, that's what right. I'm talking about. This right. Bible prophecy right. about Edom, the so-called white man. Right. This answer your right. question, William. So is that it on it? 
Yes, sir. All right, so according to the Bible, Edom would be a nation of people that's red because the blood show forth through their skin, they don't have no melanin, and that they would set their next nest among the stars do space travel to the moon. What people is that, Willie? You have no idea, Willie. A nation of people who's red. And they went to the moon with space travel. Now wait, I'm, I, I got you. I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you. You said why did everybody language and all that's different, right? Yeah. All right, I got you. We're gonna hit that. Now in the beginning, at the beginning, every all the languages on the earth was the same. Okay, it was speaking Hebrew. Okay. Yeah. Now what happened? You ever heard of the Tower of Babel? Yeah. All right, this is what happened at the Tower of Babel. I think it's Genesis 11, I got it, verse, seven. verse seven. Genesis chapter 11. Verse 6. Bring it out. Yeah, go ahead. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. They have all one language. So at this time in Genesis, everybody have one language, right? First Hebrew. Go ahead. Bring it up. And they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be will be restrained from them. So they was trying to build a, a, a big tower towards the heavens, right? They're trying to reach God. Go ahead. Which they have imagined to do. Uh-huh. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language. So this is what God decided to do, confound the languages, right? Read up. That they may not understand one another's speech. So God changed the different languages. That's where you get your Chinese from. Over time, that's where you get your English, Portuguese, Spanish, Hebrew. That's, that's when God confounded the languages. So nobody understood each other during this time. Why? Because it was building a tower to get up to the heavens. All right. So that's why no, that's why nobody speak the same language right. like that. I get the all right. Vote. Now you I, have, I, anybody got quite You got another? You got a question? No. When you have another question? Not right now. Now who? who what's your nationality? Really? Yes. Yes. Was you listening at all about that? I'm not American. I'm American. Right? But I, I'm, you know, see the sign right here? I speak English. I speak Hebrew. That's all. That's why I need it. Now, you, you see this right here? You see this right here? Now, what, what did, this is what they call us, right? American blacks, right? Yeah. But God in the Bible called us the Israelites from the tribe of Judah. That's right! Judah! Judah. That's, that's your nationality. Judah. Yes. From the nation of Israel, okay? These are all the children of Israel according to the Bible. Right. There's 12 tribes, 12 sons of what Jacob. What was his name? Right. The Judah. 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 Matter of fact, let's show you how, to, how Judah how, looks. How Jeremiah 14 and 2. How you got his name? Judah. Uh, his forefather, Jacob, named him Judah. Yeah, that's it. Let's, let's show you how Judah looks. Let's get a the, the direct depiction of the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Yeah. Up. Listen up, sis. Read. Judah mourneth. Judah mourneth, right? Will. Pay attention, Will. Pay attention. Judah mourneth. Go ahead. And the gates thereof language. And the gates thereof love. Judah is in mourning right now, right? Look at our people. We're in the slums. Like I said, like the Bible said earlier, we're going to be cursing the city, right? So we're living in the worst conditions. We're in mourning right now. Our children getting shot down in the street. It ain't nothing we can do. All the cops get off scot free, right? We're in mourning right now. Go ahead. They are black! Hold on, read it from the top again, the gates. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah morning. So the Jews are in the morning, go ahead. And the gates, they're of language. And the gates, they're of language, they're lacking. The gates is referring to our leaders. You see Jesse Jackson, they ain't doing nothing for us, right? Bring it up. They ain't doing absolutely nothing for us. And now our leaders are even going to comedians now. What is the comedian going to do for our people? They'll tell jokes? Because that, that's what they do anyway. They tell jokes based off our poverty, right? Go ahead. And what color are these people, the Jews? They are black. They are what? They are 
black. They are what? They are black. So what color are the Jews with? Black. 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 That's right. Black. According to the Bible, these all these atrocities that happen to these people, these are the Jews according to the Bible. That's the right. southern kingdom of Israel. Sis, do you understand that you are a Jew? No? Good. Read that up from the top again. Watch this. Let's see how what color the Jews are. According to the Bible, through through critical research and evidence through the Bible and historical books, the American blacks, according to the Bible, are the tribe of Jews. Is your father a so-called black man? Right? So guess what? According to the Bible, you're not. You're no. actually a Ju Judite. That's, That's right. right. You know, we're going to no. who else from the tribe of Judah? Go ahead and read it again. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Read up. Judah, mourn. The Jews are in mourning. All these atrocities that happened to our people, slavery, getting beaten, whipped, sold on auction slave blocks. This is what happened to the tribe of Judah. This is why we're in mourning right now. Go ahead. And the gates, there are language. And our, our, our elders, our leaders, they're not doing nothing about our condition. They're sitting back, drinking, getting paid. Bring it up. Right? Read on. They are black! Hold on, what color are the Jews? They are black! The Jews are black according to the Bible. Aren't we so-called black people? So, okay. guess what? You? We the Jews? Yes, Jesus was a Jew. Get in Hebrews 7. Right. That's right. Yeah. Exactly where I was going next. So, hold on, hold on. If the Jews are black, and Christ is a Jew, what color is Christ? Bring it up! Black. Yes, bro. Yes, sir. Why they call them Jews? They call them Jews. It's just short for like uh, your name is what's your whole name? Your whole first name too, man. Frederick. Frederick, right? You might call you Fred. Same thing. Or Cedric or Fred. You know, it's just short for Judah. Right? Go ahead. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Now who is our Lord and Savior? Who is our Lord? And Savior. Jesus Christ, right? So he sprang out of what? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Ju uh, Christ came from the tribe of Judah, which is what color are they? Black, right? So Christ is black. That's what you're right. Get Daniel 10 and 5. Watch this. What we're going over right now, brothers and sisters, we're going over our history according to the Bible in the true color of Jesus Christ. That's what right. Because right. guess what? A lot of our sisters blind their hair, change their hair color, change their hair texture. A lot of our brothers change their hair color and hair texture, sag their pants because they don't know that Jesus Christ looks just like them. Yes, Go ahead. Daniel uh -huh. chapter 10 verse 4. Uh -huh. yeah. Then I lifted up my eyes uh -huh. and looked and behold a certain man clothed in linen. So this is Daniel having a vision about the end. All right. He said a certain man clothed in linen. Go ahead. Whose wounds were girded with fine gold of Ephesus. He's talking about Christ, go ahead. His body also was like the bell. Meaning he had on a green garment, like you see that uh, on the far right over there. He had on a green garment, all right? That's why we got it right here, green garment. Go ahead, that's the barrel. And his face as the appearance of lightning. But Christ had a, a face as the appearance of lightning. It was like power emanated from his face. Go ahead. And his eyes as lips of fire. Because you drink wine in moderation, all right? When everybody drink wine, why see your eyes turn red, all right? That's, that's, oh! what, it that's what it means, all right? First Peter, chapter 2, verse 21. Oh, what you say? Oh! What is glory? We're going to get it. We're going to get it. For even here are two uh -huh. where ye come, uh -huh. because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. So Christ left us an example, read, that ye should follow his steps. Uh -huh. And what is it? Who did no sin? Who did no what? Who did no sin? So what is sin according to the Bible? Anybody know? You said define the word of God. That's what sin is. What you think? What you think, sin? Good, good. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. All right. So now. It's not law by man. It's written. Right. It's written. Now let's get let's get one of those let's get one of those ten commandments. Let's get Exodus Let's get one of those ten commandments. Now, in the Ten Commandments, we know thou should not steal, thou should not kill, commit adultery, have other gods before me, right? Now it's one law our people do not follow 
in those Ten Commandments. It's a lot. It's all of them. But one main one that we think we keep in but we do not. Read that. Yeah. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Right yeah. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day because you forgot it. Read on. To keep it holy. Now, do you know what the Sabbath day is? Sabbath of rest, okay. Now, how do you keep it holy? What actions did you have to do to keep it holy? Fast. Something else. You say you work all seven of them? Mm. Read that. Read the next part. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So six days. What's the first day of week? Sunday, right? Sunday. Sunday. Look on, just look on the calendar. Sunday, Sunday, the first day of the week, right? It says Sunday, but I thought it was Monday. Right? Sunday is the first day of the week, okay? Sunday to Friday is six days. So six days, you should do all your work. Go ahead. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day. So what's the seventh day of the week? Saturday, right? So Saturday, let's see about Saturday. Saturday, read. It's the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So what is the Saturday? What is Saturday according to the Bible? The Sabbath day. That's the seventh day of the week, the Sabbath day, okay? Which is Saturday. Read on. In it thou shalt not do any work. So on the Sabbath day, you're not supposed to work at all. That's a law. That's a part of the Ten Commandments. Acts 20 records the Ten Commandments. Right? Read. Thou, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. All right, so neither your son, your daughter, like little things that you tell your son and daughter do, clean up the house, cut the grass, stuff no. like that, right? You not you tell them not to do that on the Sabbath day. Right? Read. Out. Read. Read. Nor thy cattle, uh -huh. nor thy nor thy stranger uh -huh. that is within thy gate. So even if you have like a business or something like that, or like a butler or something like that, you tell them not to do any work, wash the dishes, nothing. That's a day of rest. Okay. Now go to uh. Let's see. Let's see. Exodus 16. 16. So, what's the first thing you're not supposed to do on the Sabbath day? No way. Six days you're supposed to work, but on the Sabbath day, what you're not supposed to do? Eat. Work. You want to eat on the Sabbath day? Sometimes. Sometimes, I mean, that's fine, that's fine, but the Sabbath day, you're not supposed to work on the Sabbath day, okay? Go ahead. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Yeah. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord has said. Uh -huh. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So right now was Friday, okay? He said tomorrow is the rest of the Sabbath, which is Saturday, right? Go ahead. Unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Bake that which you will bake today. So Moses told the Israelites, everything that you're going to bake, what you're going to bake today on Friday, go ahead. And see it that you will see it. So boil what you're going to boil, get a little stew pie. You know how people do it, right? right. Get a little pie, right? Make that today on Friday, right? No. And that which remaineth over, uh -huh. lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So you eat that day, and what you have left over, lay up for you to be have until Saturday, right? right. Go ahead, because you're not supposed to cook on that day. Go right. Ahead. And they laid it up till the morning, uh -huh. as Moses bade, uh -huh. and it did not stink, neither was there any worm therein. So you're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath day. No working, no cooking. Now, I know y'all just hearing this, but over a process of time, you have to practice that. And same thing with us. We ain't came in to this understanding, keeping all the laws. It's like, it's like teaching. Right, it's like teaching. So after a while, you start getting it. And you got to be around the people that actually do it for you to be on top of it, all right? Right. That's why on the back of the flyers that we gave y'all, it's a school address. I school right now down the street on Greg Street. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino A 12 year old black boy was shot and area. killed outside. A young black a woman was arrested for a traffic police. violation. Black was man found was shot and killed in the car. Just three days after the, the police took place, sir. The aftermath was aired live on Facebook. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up.
Wake up, Israel. Wake, wake, up. wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.